Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. How are you? In this reading, I will be looking at your current energies, the person in your mind, the next new person coming in, and other important details. If you're new to the channel, welcome as well, and I invite you to subscribe because I post daily. If you have any feedback or suggestions, you are welcome to write me in the feedback link that is in the description box. Okay, let's shuffle five times, and let's begin immediately. Three more shuffles. So let's start with, with the energies around you. Some of you have been waiting for this. I've been waiting for progress and now I just see you discouraged. Like you are, you think you will be wasting time continuing to wait anymore. You're trying to be logical here and practical as well and not tolerate anymore or give too many chances here, or expecting much anymore. You have been affected emotionally by this, but you think that uh, being logical, it is the only way for you to have a much more clearer mind, a peaceful mind, and without an unnecessary stresses uh, anymore. You might have been very confused, not knowing where to, to stand here, and Apparently, there's only one option from your perspective, uh, and that option might seem uh, the logical one, that is to, to keep distance, move away. But uh, what is affecting you in your subconscious? Uh, you are ready to move forward, you are ready for success and victory, but not quite sure, not quite sure to, uh, to choose uh, which path, this one or that one, the path or the new. Uh, when you have multiple options, you can decide as well. Maybe you are being too critical and with a pen and paper, with a pen and paper, trying to find the perfect partner. Now, let's see what was the main challenge in the past. It was a twin flame, very likely with that lover's energy. Uh, but as twin flames in general have this kind of energy when they start very vividly, passionately in the beginning, they might not last that long. They trigger each one, each of the partners, and they help to put uh, both of you in the right path and direction. Sometimes it is uh, just um, a contract, uh, an agreement in a past life, if you believe in that. And uh, the lovers, yeah, it was intensive, passionate, but it didn't last that long. And possibly somebody did choose another path, another person. You want something new, passionate. You want to connect and feel alive again in a relationship. You want to feel again the power of love. Now you fear... Anytime somebody shows you attraction or affection, you fear that they might, it might not last, that they are manipulating, they are not being genuine and honest. And it is coming back from that past story that we were talking about with that lover's energy. But let's see about the person that is currently in your mind. What are their current energies towards you? Knight of Cups, Three of Swords reversed. And justice reversed, the magician. Okay, they are motivated. They do have attraction for you. And they even think about approaching or are thinking, uh, why isn't Capricorn sending that apology or love message to me? They have been waiting for that. And um, they're trying to protect their heart. They're trying to heal completely from this. They don't see it right now as very balanced, harmonious, as an energy or mutual what is in their mind? They think a lot about you. They have still deep attraction and desire. They can't stop thinking about you. It's, it's not easy at all to erase the past, the emotions, the deep uh, special feelings they had with you. What is in their subconscious, the dramas, the conflicts that happened, the disagreements. 
do they have any plans of action? They postpone any new beginning because they know it might be very difficult for you to accept a new serious beginning. They reflect a lot about, upon this and with their mind they postpone that date. The date when they will contact you. The date when you both will try to make things better. Uh, what is some possible outcome in the near future? I see a meeting. You meeting each other. And I want you to... If this happens, if this timeline continues, because there's always free will, but that is the energy of this timeline, of you meeting again each other, it doesn't say that you are going to meet and jump into a relationship. It is you connecting again, talking possibly, or viewing each other. Maybe passing down the street, something like that. Uh, but um, it's difficult. It's difficult to really express for both of you what you really feel and think inside yourselves when this meeting happens. And it will give the impression that this is just something uh, very friendly, formal, like you have forgotten about this, it's no big deal anymore, it's okay. That's the kind of impression I'm getting. But deep inside, below the surface, there's this a Queen of Wands energy, a deep, passionate like, energy towards each other. What else do we need to know? Ace of Cups. You will have a new love story, stable, but Nine of Cups reverse. Don't always, when you start a new connection, don't try to set your expectations high. Uh, create scenarios in your mind. Yes, I know you want something long term and stable. You are thinking about the top of the mountain, a marriage, commitment long term. Take it easy. Uh, step by step. Look at the first step. Are you liking it? Are you liking the interaction? Do you feel comfortable? Do you have feelings, interest to get to know this person? Okay, okay, let's move to the next step. Don't think immediately there because uh, you might get some attachment emotionally to this and um, it has potential. You will be in a connection. I'm not getting a past or new person. I'm getting you will be in a relationship that is uh, potentially going to last. But don't get attached emotionally or create expectations that that connection will make you happy. That will solve all problems. Now, if you want to know even more details about this person that is currently in your mind, there's an extended video as well in the description box below with even more details about their current energies and some of your current energies as well. Let's continue with a new connection. If you're looking for a new person, let's see uh, what is the energy of the next new person coming in. You will have a very stable, serious relationship. It seems to me like what we were talking about, it is this new person. But let's, let's get more details. Might be another Earth sign. Might be another Capricorn or Tor Taurus or Virgo. I have Aries here. Yes, it is a new beginning here, a new chapter. There's attraction as well. So the base of this seems solid. It, it needs to be built, but the, the ground seems uh, not shaky, it seems solid, there's attraction, and yes, it's a new, com a completely new chapter here. What will be their first impression about you? Like you feel alone, you feel... They, they would not see you very optimistic, they would not see you uh, courageous, Somehow they will feel that you have been heavily affected by a connection of the past that was very important to you. That uh, they might have left you in the cold or rejected you, something like that. What about uh, your first impression towards them? Okay, I think that you both in the beginning will connect by similar love themes. You might have similar breakups and uh, you will talk about that and the breakup might have been not that easy at all with a three of swords, a third party situation, cheating, lying, that kind of a connection. And when you talk to each other about previous connections or the previous relationship, seems like you both will feel understood 
and seen. And this will connect you both, and that's how it starts. What is the energy of the first month of the interaction? Four of Cups. Okay, it's quite interesting. Six of Wands and an Pentacles Reverse. I'm getting here... There's a possible rejection happening the first month, or it might not be very direct, but one of you is getting options, needs time to think, and there may be an X coming into the scene here. For one of you, a person from the past wants to re-enter the love life, and that's why one of you needs more time to think about moving into a connection together, like making this new connection official. It's quite likely a past person comes into the scene and affects the continuity of this, at least the first month. And I do see you both having something very successful with each other. It is going very well, the communication very good, and oh, this person uh, jumps into the scene and they might destroy this beautiful thing that is being developed. That's the kind of energy that I'm getting. Okay, Capricorn, this was your general reading. I hope this was helpful. If you liked and resonated with this reading, please hit the like button and share the video if you want to. It helps a lot the channel and I highly appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, I invite you to subscribe because I post daily and you can check the schedule of the readings in the description box. I post based on the elements. So today is Earth Signs. Uh, tomorrow, fire signs and so on. Okay, wishing you all the best and I will see you the next reading. Bye for now.